So hi there, my YouTube subscribers, my rideshare friends. I hope you're having an awesome day. I hope the weekend treated you well. Um, couple of little developments. Um, somebody put a 2K challenge out there. And in one of my next video videos, you will see that I raised the bar. We're going to have a 3K challenge. Okay, and I'll show you how to get there. But uh, the interesting developments um, this week, uh, the one thing is, Car rental companies, as you can see it behind me, um, many people don't have a car, right? And then the good thing is there are options for you, you know, whether it's Hertz or Hire Car or Fair or Turo or whoever is a game player that will rent out cars or lease out cars to you so that you can take up a job with Uber or Lyft or both, right? So, you know, in that case, I say two thumbs up to car rentals. But... What, what happened last week, um, you know, how can I explain this? You know, you have a house and every once in an hour and again, you have to do some steam cleaning, right? Because things don't just clean themselves up um, just purely by themselves. Sometimes you have to spend time, energy, money to get things done correctly. So I sent out a cease and desist to all the car rental companies because what I was noticing is that some people were coming forward and sharing information that when you or I refer a driver, right, there is a period, and Uber and Lyft are truly to blame for this, that somebody can come in and snag that referral and switch you over. So what some of these limo and car rental companies um, were doing, and maybe they're still doing this, is that they literally force the driver to sign up under their code. Yes, some of these rental companies have their own code, some of these limo companies have their own code, and then they just snag the driver away from you. They get paid, you're doing all the heavy lifting and work, and then they get the rewards. That's wrong, right? So I sent them a cease and desist to refrain from those type of activities if they were conducting them, also asking the various car rental companies um, if they do this, right? And if anybody has experienced this, please, I'm so interested in your information, your name, and who the company may have been. Now, the one cool thing is that the directors of Hire Car immediately came forward. They formulated a letter and say, we don't do that, right? Which is cool. So, you know, good standing. Um, their response, by the way, is underneath this video if you, if you wish to read it. And, and very often, folks, um, you can make a lot of money, but to make money, you have to spend money. And, you know, sometimes I have to just get those type of letters out and spend money not just for myself, or hopefully also for your benefit, but my voice that I try to put out there, portray is, I try to protect the drivers and I don't allow the ride share companies and other companies to get away with shenanigans. Eventually, we shine the light on them and we sniff them out and we uh, expose them, rightfully so, through our channel, correct? So, not cool to those car rental companies and limo companies that are doing this. And again, I'm not pointing any fingers at the moment, just collecting names, right? And if, again, if you've experienced something like this, please step forward. Now, um, I hope they understand that we work very hard on recruiting these people. And it's a bit of a cheap shot if you're going out there. I would almost call it extortion. If you're forcing a driver to switch code so that they can get the car. You're only going to get the car on the condition that you switch the codes. And I really ask Uber to look into this because they are basically promoting this practice, right? They're promoting car rental companies and limo uh, companies to abuse this loophole and take our hard-earned dollars away. Not just mine, but also yours. So anytime you've had a referral and it maybe didn't materialize or maybe stayed on zero trips all the time, you've got to ask yourself, what happened to that lead, right? So anyone that has had an experience with car rental companies uh, or limo companies doing this, where they're forcing you to use their code so you get the car, again, I ask you kindly, step forward with the company's name so we can take the matter further. Drive safe.